All right, let's get things started with our very first episode. Pack opening of L.O.B. Man, this, uh, this set actually brings back quite a few memories for me. Uh, not very good memories, uh, albeit, uh, nostalgic memories. Uh, I'll go with that, nostalgic memories. Um, for those who don't know, obviously, as you might expect, ooh, check it out, Secret Rare Trihorn Dragon after, what, pack three? No, that's the only second pack, jeez. Lucky me. He's most likely gonna go in the deck. But, uh, yeah, as I was saying, um, this is the first booster set of Yu-Gi-Oh! ever. So, we're going to be looking at mostly garbage here. Oh, and the pot. Anyways, first set of Yu-Gi-Oh! outside of a few broken cards like Pot of Greed or Raigeki and stuff like that, you're not really going to be looking at too much, so you got to kind of look at this set and judge it by what's out at the time. Because really, when you get down to it, you know, what is a good card? Well, it's good in comparison to what else is around at the time. And so, mostly, all you can do at this time period is make a deck that is full of uh, four, like, four-star beaters. And another pot of grade, can't really do too much with that, uh, using traditional format rules, I only need the one copy, but picking up Dark Hole, not bad at all. I'll take that any day of the week. Alright, we're a little over halfway through our pack opening now, and I haven't gotten too much. I haven't really seen any good beaters, really, mostly a bunch of just generic stuff, but uh, hey, you just got a Maneater Bog, he's a good set card. Um, I was hoping for a few more uh, 2,000 defenders like this, and there we go, a Bude. Oh, man, she purdy. Uh, definitely going in the deck, probably alongside the Trihorn Dragon. I'll go double dragons on her. Uh, speaking of, man, Broken was talking some crap. She said she pulled good. Uh, I don't know, did she pull as good as me? Only you guys will know. Alright, picked up a Polymerization. It's hard to get our hands on a copy of Polymerization. Uh, since we're doing progression style rules where we only have access to core booster set cards so having access to that might actually be uh pretty handy for me now granted there aren't any good fusions for a very long time but again future proofing our deck polymerization is definitely a nice pickup i'm glad i got one and uh moving on to our last pack here i did just see a yurubai yurubi however you pronounce that card uh dino boy yeah, he's a pretty good beater. Probably one of the best ones at this point in the game, other than Skull Red Bird, which actually I don't think I pulled any. If I did, I didn't notice it at the time. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna scroll through here so you guys can see everything that I picked up. Um, not too shabby. I got a few high-end stuff like Blue Eyes, Pot of Greed, Dark Hole, stuff like that. Uh, we're just gonna have to see if the rest of the main deck can uh, hold its own. But uh. I will see you guys at the deck building part. Okay, here we go. We're going to open 24 packs of Legend of Blue Eyes. Yay! Here we go. Alright, what did we get? Uh, okay, that's not too bad. Alright. All right, ooh, Sword of Revealing Light, yes, yes, there we go. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. Hey, Celtic Guard, ooh, Pot of Greed, yes, yes. Forest, Forest could be good depending on what we could keep getting. All right, ah, uh, ooh, getting a lot of Thrive Runs. Ooh, Stop Defense, yes, Gaia. Uh, ooh, Urby, okay. Okay, we got legendary sword. We've got ooh, we got a skull red bird. Yes, yes. A few more of those, please, please. Give me some of those. Ooh, dragon treasure could be all right. And if we, ooh, another skull red bird. Yes. Oh, I just saw that. Ooh, another pot of greed. Yes. All right. Uh, this one's not too that great, uh, but that's fine. We're getting a lot of good stuff. Ooh, another Ubri. Alright. Giant Soldier of Stone. Okay, we got at least one nice big defense monster. So that's fine. Ooh, okay, another Herbie. Yes. Arabi. Arabi? I'm not sure. <laughs> we got a blue eyes white dragon! 
Yeah! Yo! I'm so happy about that. Okay. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to summon him, but I'm, I'm just happy to have him. That's fine. Okay. Almost at the... Ooh, nice mystical elf. Another Urubi. All right. Okay. Getting there. Ooh, okay. Turtle Tiger. Okay. What's, what's in the last pack? What's in the last pack? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, sweet. Oh, we did get some... We got some pretty nice stuff. All right. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this haul. All right. Uh, I'm going to go put my deck together and we'll see what Crossflux got. All right. So, I thought I pulled pretty well during the pack opening, but once I sat down to actually start constructing a deck, I realized I have a lot of high-end and low-end cards, but nothing in the middle. I didn't pull many good four-star beaters, no skull red birds, and only two Urubai. Thus, my win condition will be my Bewed and or Trihorn Dragons. I'm running as many of these cards as I can because I definitely want to see them during my game. This is before searching and the only deck thinning that exists is through Pot of Greed. In order to make sure I get these monsters on the field, I need to stall with swords and as many 2k defenders as I can. I had a bit of extra deck space left over, so I decided to try and make use of that polymerization that I pulled. It probably won't work, but theoretically, if I can get it to go off, I've got two targets, Carbonola Warrior and Flame Swordsman. Both are warriors, so I threw in Sogan and Legendary Swords to pump them up even higher. This way they can serve as secondary win cons, or even as a way to fuel my main win con. See, at this point in Yu-Gi-Oh, there are hardly any ways to special summon at all, so this means I can't really turbo out my two tributes. However, I actually can summon these mighty beasts with only one monster on the field, uh, assuming I fuse only monsters in my hand. Super situational, I know, but who knows, it might come up. Finally, the last thing I want to talk about are the remove traps. I've been running both copies that I pulled because Dragon Capture Jar will completely shut my deck down. There's not much to talk about concerning the side deck. Pretty much, if the fusion strategy isn't proving helpful in game one, I can swap them out for a few fiend types in hopes that their added consistency will help me pull out a win. But, uh, anyways, I'm not expecting a win here, but, uh, Hey, anything is possible. All I can do is the best I can. With that being said, let's see what Broken did for her deck. Can't wait to face it. Alright, um, so I spent a little time putting my deck together, and as you can see, it's mostly brute forcing nonsense because I didn't get Fisher and I didn't get Dark Hole. Those were the two besides Blue Eyes that I really wanted to get didn't get those so we're gonna basically we're just gonna try to stall out with swords of revealing light maybe get a little extra damage in final flame when we can and boost all of our attackers until we can hopefully get blue eyes so um, yeah that's the deck this is what we have to work with in vanilla Yu-Gi-Oh so let's see how it goes all right welcome to the first duel of the series how are you feeling great really that doesn't sound too confident um i mean well i don't know if my deck's good or not but we'll see all right well how are your pulls uh i got the one i wanted so well, the one the one card you wanted huh yeah, doesn't mean doesn't necessarily mean it'll help me, but I wanted it, so. Okay. Well, my pulls were really good and really bad, so we'll see how it goes. I'm doing something weird, so if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But let's go ahead and get this started. Okay. Let's see. Which shall I choose? The fate determining RPS. Oh, oh. I won. That means I'm gonna win the whole series. Yeah. Alright, I believe I will go... 
first. Of course. This this format's so old, card advantage doesn't really matter that much. All right, let's see how this goes. Okay. Draw phase, stand by main. I can't believe how epic of a start this is going to be. I'm going to set one card face down and end my turn. Good luck. Oh boy. Let's see if you can overcome my powerful monster. Mm, okay. I'm gonna start with the final flame. What? 600 damage? That's cheating. You didn't even attack me with a monster. Oh, sorry. I meant to go to main phase one first. Cheater. I'm sorry. Okay, we're getting some forest. Some foresty action. And we're going to normal summon. A beast. 1400. It's pretty hefty. And that's really making my soul cry to say that a 1400 attack vanilla monster is hefty. Alright, I'm sorry. How do I set one of those tokens so that we know it's 14? Uh, it's the little black and white poker chip under main phase 2. You just click and drag it over onto your card. Boop. Okay, so he's 1400. Okie doke. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I will go to battle phase and. You better then, not. Yes, and then attack. Haha, -ha. my monster's still oh. bigger. So you take 600. How do you like it? At least it wasn't a man eater bug. Was that 600? Yep. Well, your panda would be safe. It only eats men. All right, then I go to main phase two and end my turn. Nothing else, huh? Well, this is LOB, so... All right, let's see. What can I do here? I can possibly do something, but I can't do it until I'm in main phase one. Let's set a card and pass it on over again. Oh, good. Riveting gameplay. Thank you, Legend of Blue Eyes. Okay. What would we ever do without you? I'm going to activate... Oh, sorry. I will put it. Activate Beast Fangs oh, onto no. Frenzy Panda. Okay, so that adds another 300, so it's up to 17 in total. Still not enough to get over my heart. No, but we're getting there. Um, I will also set a monster. Okay. <clears throat> and then I will go to Battle Phase, and we will see what is... It's probably not going to be worth it, but what's under here? Flip. <gasps> you take 100. Okay. Because my monster is a plant, which means it's buffed by your very own field spell. Bum bum bum. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that's it for me, so end turn. Alright, let's see if I can't make something happen here. Alright, main phase one. Let's go ahead and throw down a field of my own. So again, since we are playing with modern rules, we are able to have both fields active at the same time. Okay. All right, let us summon a warrior. So my field boosts warriors, and I'm gonna do the same thing you did. I'm going to equip mine. Oh, goody. So technically I am slightly weaker than your monster, but perhaps I am strong enough to attack this thing. Um. All right. I don't. Uh, I, sorry, yeah, just I swap it back to that. defense. That's fine. There's an option just to flip, not flip summon. Yeah. All I didn't right. See so right I away. end up taking. Was that 400? I believe so. Bummer. All right. Well, as you saw, nothing happened. Oh boy. Okay. Uh. Um, so what we are going to do is uh -huh. battle phase, attack this guy. Alright, you win. To the grave it goes. Alright, that's the end um, of my turn. I uh, pass. <laughs> okay. Can't do anything. Um, let's see. Ooh, okay. Well, normal summon Rebby. Um, okay, I know we can't do one. anything yet. No, we can't do it. Yeah. Yeah, I did. 
Sorry, I'm, I'm not pressing these buttons. How will anyone ever possibly know what phase I could possibly be in unless I click these buttons? I know. Considering there's only three moves you can make at this point in the game in Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> ah. Should your Phantom King have been destroyed? No, it has more defense than your monster. That's why you took damage when you attacked it. Ah. Uh. Right. Okay. It's got 18 defense. I should, I should remember useful. that monsters don't have effects at this point. Yeah. Um, I guess I end my turn then, don't I? I guess you do. You know what's better than... Whoops, not battle phase. Main phase. What's better than one Yurubi? Two Yurubis. Let's just go ahead and crash these guys. Boo! Get rid of both of them. There we go. I accomplished something today. I cannot play a field spell on top of a field spell, correct? You can. It just replaces the old one. Okay. Suppose what I'll just do for right now is just give myself 200 health. Okay. Oh, it's 500. Oh. Oh, I forgot. Mm -hmm. how, do, how do I do it? Uh, make sure you uh, click the uh, minus icon to turn it to a plus. Just saw that, yes. Okay. Okay. Um, hmm, I, guess I, I guess I just end my turn. Several turns in and neither of us have really taken damage. Go ahead. <laughs> Give me beaver. A beaver. He is boosted by my field. Only I'm supposed to take advantage of your fields. Wait. Does he get double boost then? Because mine also boosts him. Beast Warrior. Holy moly, it actually does. I didn't realize that. Yeah, both Forest and Sogan both increase Beast Warrior. So he's up by 400. Oh! I can take out your green phantom. Uh, not quite. He's my Phantom King is still eighteen hundred defense. Oh, eighteen. Yep. Oh, well, never mind then. Yeah. Technically, your Frenzy Panda is still stronger than the Beaver Warrior. Oh yeah. In terms of attack. Right, because of the beast fangs. Nope. All right. <sighs> well, well, um, well, this is some riveting gameplay. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Unfortunately, I can't really do much. I just gotta keep sitting here. Eventually, I'll draw a card I can use. I've got some pretty good ones. You just haven't seen them yet. I'm holding back on you since it's the first episode. Um, no, just for the heck of it, Celtic Guardian. Because I like him. It makes me happy to see him. Mm -hmm. So, and then I end my turn. Hmm. The question is, do I do it or do I not do it? I could do it. I'm going to do it. Behold. Polymerization. Ooh. I will fuse my two warriors that are in my hand to summon a fusion monster. Can you believe it? Summoning a fusion monster from... Jeez, L-O-B. Okay. So he's actually 17 thanks to my field, which is just enough to get over your beaver warrior who's at 16. Okay. Is that 100? Yep, yeah, that's 100, and after that I'm going to pass it over. I can't believe I actually summoned that thing. <sighs> what are the odds? Okay. Um, I'm going to summon... I'm gonna summon Taihon, mm -hmm. and I'm going to activate Stop Defense on your oh. your Harp Lady. Not my Spirit of the Harp. She's a pacifist. All right, main phase battle, and I will have Mr. Panda take her out. All right, so that's like what nine hundred? Yes. To the grave she goes. Declaring an, an effect that she does not possess. <laughs> I figured that was a mistake. Um, 
Uh, Almost had you there, though. No one else. No one else is high enough. So uh, end my turn. Probably should have had Panda take out your fusion monster. Mm. They would crash as they're tied at 17. So you could. Yeah. I don't know. That might be worth it at this point. Mm. All right. I'm going to go straight to battle. Let's have Carbonola attack that uh, Taihong that you summoned. So that'll be 500 damage. All right. All right. Main two, I will set another monster of my own and pass it back over. Hmm. I will set and set. You set or did you I mean, summon? I, I, oh gosh, I'm sorry. It's okay. You can flip it face down. I'll pretend to not know what it is. I've played so much Yu-Gi-Oh with myself over the years. I am good at pretending to not know what certain cards are. All right. Uh, and that's it. I mean, let's be honest. It's L.O.B. If you set a monster face down, more than likely it's a 2,000 defense monster. <laughs> All right. So let's go to main phase. Let's do... Ooh, what do I do? Go for it now? I guess so. Alright. To the grave with my Phantom King. To the grave with my Aquamador. Behold the mighty Trihorn Dragon. Oh, dang. Yep, not quite blue eyes, but uh, hey, it's second best thing. Uh, he is big enough to get over your frenzied panda, though. Not sure if he has enough frenzy to overcome this. So that's going to be 1150 damage. Yep. And I'm going to have Carbonola get over the monster I know I can defeat. Come to Guardian. And then it will be your turn. Okay. I am going to activate Swords of Revealing Light. Ooh, okay. And I'm going to... As if this duel wasn't long enough already. Hard. And end my turn. There's one card I'm really trying to get to, and I would just like to get to it. I bet you are. Alright, I'm going to equip my warrior with a sword to make him even stronger, and pass it over. You want to throw a token on your swords, indicating that that's one turn that has passed? Yep. Wow, really? I still I still can't? Okay. Okay, I've, I've got like three copies, and yet I can't get it. Uh huh. Hmm. Alright, I can't attack, so I guess it's your move. Two turns on swords. Oh, all right, yeah. Sorry, there we go. There we go. All right, you got the big boy. I got the, the big, big bird. Boy. I got the big bird. Take me to Sesame Street. I got the big bird to Sesame Street. Uh, I'm going, you know, going to attack your warrior. Uh, remember, he's boosted by field and equip spells, so it's actually smaller than my warrior right now. Are you kidding me? I have uh, the, I have nope, the most I'm powerful not. four star. Yes, but I've got a okay. Well, I guess Carbonola's four star as well, but he's a fusion. Uh, yeah. Took three cards to make it. Do you know how hard that was? Probably not worth it. Yeah, you're right. Probably not. Although I will admit he's been putting in some work. All right, pass it over. That is the last turn of swords, so... Into the grave it goes. To the grave. What you gonna do now? Pot of greed. Oh, you did get it. I did. I got three copies, but I couldn't use all three. What a bummer. <laughs> Dude, can you imagine if we had three pot of greeds? Yeah, that would be great, wouldn't it? Would it be called a pot card? of threed? Probably. And I'm going to set set a card, and I guess go to defense. All right, you're walling up pretty hard. That's all I can do at the moment. Oh, you know what's better than one pot of greed? Two pot of greeds. Ooh. I'm having deja vu. Didn't this happen earlier in the game? I knew you would get it. Yeah. Actually, like you, I ended up pulling three as well. Mm. <laughs> That's great. All right, I gotta do something about all these monsters you got. So let's normal summon a witty phantom. Bet you never saw it coming. Mm. 
<laughs> that was bad. Yeah. Alright, activate stop defense on your mystical elf. Lovely. Battle phase. Uh-huh. Alright, Witty Phantom is going to attack over your Skull Red Bird. Alright. Carbonola, that 2,000 is going to attack your elf, so you'll take 12. I could have done more damage if I attacked with my dragon, but most of these monsters you've got are probably 2,000 defense. So, definitely don't want to take any chances there. Alright. Uh, I've already summoned for the turn, so I'll pass it back over. Police, no! Mm. You really needed to get a big monster, huh? I really did. And my turn. Alright. Alright, let's hop straight into battle phase. Trihorn, attack... The card you just set. Carbonola, attack this one. Yeah, that's great. Oh, oh yeah, that's the soldier. Oh no, that's the soldier. Yeah, I thought you so had to it's uh yeah, you can put it back on the field. It's tied though, so I don't take damage. And uh, witty phantom will attack the remaining monster that you have. Uh okay. I will go to main two. I won't do anything. I will end it, and if you don't mind, just flip that soldier back up since uh, it is technically face up. Uh, okay. But otherwise, it's your move. Well, that's just great. I I could have used that last turn. That, that's lovely, lovely. That's just prime. Um, I'll assume you uh, intended to leave your soldier in defense mode. Yeah, I did. Okay. Sorry, I will get the hang of this. That's fine. Uh, well, it's not simulator. a big deal. I know what you mean. All right, let's go ahead and summon another monster so I can hopefully get some damage in this turn. Battle phase, Trihorn gets over the soldier. Unless that face down has something to say about it. No, it does not. All right. Carbonola. All right, let's go in for some damage. 14. Yay. And then 13. This is it. What you got for me? Uh, all right, if you got you Dark win. Hole, this is going to no, be real you nasty. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Alright. I'm actually surprised I uh, squeezed out that win. Alright. I have a feeling, based on your wording, that you had another big monster. So, I definitely got to be on the lookout for that. Yeah, I really wish I could have summoned that, but it came one turn too late. All right, well, let's try going first this time. All right. First is the best burst. burst. First <laughs> is the burst. Wow, okay. Uh, uh, well, activate final flame. Oh, man, deja vu. There's so much deja vu this episode. Mm, and, That's uh, twice already. And my turn. Really? Yeah. Uh, well, I don't have much I can do either. So I think I'm going to do the exact same thing on the last duel. Setting a single monster and passing. Oh, oh, oh. I have no choice. I have to do it now. Swords are revealing light. Ooh, okay. And Flip. then end my turn. Hmm. As I feared. I really I didn't want to. to. I really didn't want to do that now, mm -hmm. but I've got no choice. Oh, now I can. Okay. Well, okay, okay then maybe maybe this won't be so bad. All right, bad. Maybe in there's face. hope for you after all. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Set, pass. That is two turns on swords. All right, two turns. All right, you get one more turn of reprieve. All right, summon. And, um... Well, I... Yeah, you don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. I'm warning you. you. You begging me not to do it means that I can do it, so... Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> hey, I gotta try. <laughs> I know you... 
set. Pass. <laughs> Swords are gone. Oh. It was perfect. It was shockingly perfect. All right, I'm going to sacrifice. Yep. And summon the wonderful, the great, the amazing, the Gaia beautiful. Gaia the Fierce Knight. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Blue Eyes. I told you I got the one I wanted. All right, all right. I got the one I wanted. All right, you better not, though. Eh. Hey, well, you we'll use see. swords. You uh, you got three free turns. You, you should. Oh, hey, like, look what attack. I got. I got a stop defense. Let's stop the one that I can't see what it is. Yep. All right. Uh, flip summon. All right. Goody. Oh, goody. It's the exact same monster you used it on last time. Oh, goody. Let's let's do this. Let's take, let's take it out. There we go. There we go. I like to see some of that. Uh huh. All right. All Maybe right. Two, and your turn, Mister. Set a monster and pass. Oh boy! We gonna activate a forest. We gonna we gonna summon a silver. We gonna activate another stop defense. Which one? The one I can't see. It didn't matter. Oh boy! Oh boy! Well, Silver Fang can take out the one in attack mode. Yeah, it can. And that is 700 damage as they both get buffs. And of course, Blue Eyes yeah, can... Yeah. Hey! Hey! I wanted nope, the satisfaction! Nope, no, you don't get it. <laughs> couldn't give me that? No, I couldn't. You give me this one thing. You won the last one! Uh-huh. And you might still win! Normal summon. Witty Phantom, Crash with the Beast. The Beast. The Beast. Oh yeah, to the graveyard myself. Alright, passing it over. This is gonna hurt. Yay! We gonna summon a panda. Ooh, alright, well at least I'm still alive. We gonna activate a Grave Digger Ghoul. Okay, interesting choice. What are you getting rid of? I'm gonna get rid of your Lady Harp. Harp lady. And I'm gonna get rid of um your phantom. One of your phantoms. Okay. I have a lot of phantoms. I have a green phantom, I have a witty phantom. You got a phantom phantom. Phantom phantom. And then we're gonna do a panda and a durgan. There you go. Ugh, I'm holding on How does it feel? for once How by does my pinky feel toe. to be beaten by the title card of the series. I'm not beaten yet. Swords of Revealing Light. Oh, joy. You've only prolonged the inevitable. We shall see. Your move. Blah, blah, blah. Oops. Didn't mean to click that. Uh, well, fine. To be safe, I'm going to put something in defense. And then I'm mm -hmm. going to end my turn. Main. Uh... Set. Pass. <laughs> Ooh, this is tough. I think I can pull myself out of this if I get lucky. <laughs> Whoops! That did was mean, supposed to be set. You mean to set it again as well? Yes, okay. did you see it? I did, but again... I'm sorry. Matter. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm the worst Yu-Gi-Oh player. Uh, you're not the worst. I've, the I've seen worse. All right, uh, this is a tough choice. Bruh. I will set a card and pass it, because I've got one more turn of swords. Wow. Wow. Mm, that, <laughs> that was not the right thing at all. Hey, I beat it. <laughs> you beat it by having your wife be stupid. Swords are in the grave. Can I turn the tide of the duel? Main phase one. You better not. To the grave. I'm going to beat you up. To the grave. No. You are not the only one who can wield the indestructible power of blue Why? eyes. Why? I wanted to be special. You're special because no. your blue eyes just kind of wrecked my face. But I didn't wreck it enough. 
Afraid no! Now. No! <laughs> the trauma. Alright, that's 1600 to you. The trauma. That panda just doesn't have enough frenzy. My traumatic. Fine. That, have that a, was close. Have a beaver. Have okay. a beaver. Fine. Okay, we're going. We're gonna flip summon. We're gonna Ooh, flip summon. You're going for it, huh? We're gonna. We're gonna see what this is. Believe it or not, you take a hundred points of damage. Oh, uh, that is quite surprising. It is, isn't it? <sighs> oh well, uh, Beaver can take it out. Yes, it can. If you had attacked with that first, you would have won the game this turn. Uh, well, actually, I mean, yeah. All right, in turn. Oh my goodness, my kingdom for a polymerization. All right, uh, battle phase. Let's take out this beaver before it can do any more damage. Another Great. 16 to you. Main two. I will set a card of my own and pass it back over. No. You got me on the ropes, but don't count me out just yet. Ugh. Main battle, uh, please, please be lower. It's my own beaver, so he's 17 defense. You take 300. You've almost got me. I have faith in you. Start turn. Alright, what? Can I make something happen here? Maybe. Alright, let's do a little pest control. Another 16 to you. Oh, that's just lovely. Main two. I will. I kind of want to do something, but I won't. I'll take the chance. I won't do anything this round. Pot of greed. Oh, great. Pot of greed, pot of greed. That card gets you what you need. Uh, it did nothing. What? No one has ever said that in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh. Other than you just now. White. Nothing. It's not letting me activate a field spell. Uh, maybe Dueling Book can't do it. So just send the force to the graveyard and then play oh, Okay, that works. Okay. Alright, so now your blue eyes is even more formidable, but so is mine. Battle phase, have it attack the beaver. Yep, he dies. Um, I guess two defense mm -hmm. and <sighs> Alright. I have a play. Battle phase. Let's get rid of Terra. Okay. Main two. I'm sorry, you're really not gonna like this. Fisher. On oh, blue eyes, let me guess. It destroys your monster with the lowest attack. And, and the only, only option the is blue yeah. eyes. I'm sorry. I'm I'm marginally sorry. I will admit I'm marginally sorry. All right. Um. Let's. There's. It's too risky for me to go any more offensive because if like I summon another monster to try and get more damage on board, like all it takes is any damage and I'm dead. So, I'm just going to have to play the slow and steady race. Let's attack the first card you set. And end it. Dude, if you got like Dark Hole or Fissure of your own, I'm dead. Um, fat chance. Alright, stop defense on the card you just set. Alright. To the grave. Alright, let's attack for some damage. That's gonna be uh, 2,000. 
because of the mountain boost. Oh, wait, but your monster was also boosted by mountain, so yeah. it's 1800. Alright, main two, I will set a card face down in here. Ah, uh, whatever, just set. Done. Alright. Slow and steady wins the race, so they say. Pass it. Oh, this, this is just gonna be the rest of the game. I don't think there's anything else I can do. No, there, there's nothing. There's nothing else I could do. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm, I might as well, we'll see. It. We shall see. Didn't you watch the anime? You gotta believe in the heart of the cards. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. I don't know why that happened. Uh... Yeah, dueling book is kind of weird sometimes. Alright folks, we're still getting the hang of it. I really hate how the hover options are kind of like fast, so like if you accidentally move your mouse just a little bit, you can end up doing something I, you don't want to do. I'm really upset that there's nothing else I can do. There, there's nothing. There's nothing. I'm sorry. I don't. I didn't draw any of those special cards I needed to be able to take care of any of this. Mm. Uh, technically one for this one case, but I really did not bet that you drew blue eyes, so I did not put it in the deck. Oh, are you talking about, like, Dragon Capture Jar? Yes, I did draw one ca Dragon Capture Jar, and I thought, there's no way he also bl drew a Blue Eyes, because I had the luck of drawing a Blue mm. Eyes, so I didn't put yeah. it in the deck. Well, I probably could have put it in the side deck. Blue Eyes. But I didn't, know, I didn't even card. know you, that you had mm. Blue Eyes. Now, see, here's the situation. Until now. I can assume that since I've got you on the ropes that your remaining face down is a monster my flame swordsman can defeat. However, if that is a 2000 defense monster, I die. Therefore, it is your turn. <laughs> but uh, I guess while we were talking about that, uh, we kind of overlooked the fact that I actually managed to summon the flame swordsman. Can I, mm -hmm. can I, get, a, can yeah. I get some love for the flame swordsman? Not only did I fusion summon once this match, but I fusion summoned twice. It wasn't me... technically this match. Well, it's this match, it's not this game. Alright, activate my own field. And uh, Flame Swordsman is a warrior, not a pyro type, so he is boosted by Sogan. So he has 2000 attack. Now I don't have to worry about running into a 2000 defense monster. So, battle phase. Blue eyes. Okay. Oof. Alright. That was really lucky on my part. Alright, passing it over. I, I really think that there's no point in me continuing. I don't think I can do anything. I literally mm. don't think I can. Alright, well. At this rate, it won't take much longer. Let's just go ahead and finish it out. Flame Swordsman? You got it, right? Alright. This is it, Broken. Your last turn. You win. Well, we don't know about that. Not until I activate my Pot of Greed. Really? Right at the end there? Yeah. Apparently. Wonderful. Alright, let us... Hmm... Attack directly? No. Flame Swordsman, attack the monster. Stop getting a little bloodlust crazy there. Alright, Blue Eyes, you know what to do. And you win. Good game. Good game. Very good, good game. game. I... I, I honestly, I cannot believe I actually pulled through on that one. Look, I was at 100 life points for like 20 turns. Yeah. You were so close. If you had that turn when you attacked me with the blue eyes and the frenzy panda, if it had been like any monster other than frenzy panda. If I had made that one stupid mistake of making the one monster not attack, I don't even remember what it was now, but it was 
I had two monsters that could have attacked, and I chose the one that, of course, couldn't actually take Right, out. when you attacked the beaver warrior. Yeah. Well, to be fair, that wasn't really a mistake. It was just... It was a mistake in hindsight, because now we know what the card was face down. But again, you were attacking a face down monster. You didn't have any idea of what it could be. So, again, it's only a mistake in the sense of looking back on it. But in the moment, I mean, it wasn't really a mistake. It was just how things turned out. Right. And again, like... You you summoned blue eyes early thanks to your swords. Without yeah, the swords, you wouldn't have gotten it. No, Likewise, no, absolutely swords not. won me this duel too because, like, again, you had blue eyes. I there was nothing I could do. S swords of revealing light, most OP card. I'm I'll, I'll say it now. It's more OP than pot of greed, to me. At, at this point, it totally. At is. this point. Because yeah, there's no spell destruction really. I think. Armed Ninja might have been in this set, or it might be the next one. Uh, Armed Ninja destroys spell cards, and I think D Spell obviously destroys spells, but those are in the starter decks, not the actual pack. Dude. So we don't have access to it. Yeah, dude, th this was a little weird because it's like, yeah, I drew good cards. Like, I drew three red skull red birds, and mm -hmm. I drew blue eyes. I did draw Gaia, but I didn't put him in the deck. For some yeah, reason. He's, he's not worth it. Yeah, I didn't. Tributes, I didn't think he was worth it compared to Blue Eyes. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I did not draw Dark Hole. Mm. I did not draw Fisher. I didn't draw any of those types of cards. I was really hoping to get more Fishers. Honestly, All, that's the only copy I had. Most of the spells I drew were attached to a monster, and they gained a couple hundred. Yeah, one just or the allows the equip spells. Yeah. That was most of what I drew. Yeah, same here. So... <laughs> Did you get Dark Hole? Maybe. Uh, yes, I pulled a Dark Hole. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah, um, I'll, I'll give you that one. But yeah, so my deck was really weird. I got really high-end cards. I pulled Blue Eyes, and I pulled three of the Trihorn Dragons. You pulled three? Of the, even I only got one. Yeah, so I pulled a play set of Trihorn, I pulled Blue Eyes... So I was like, okay, that those are going to be my win conditions. Because I look at my level 4 monsters, garbage. No Skull Red Birds. I pulled two Eurobees, which are good, I guess. But yeah. that was it. The rest of them were garbage. So I just slapped together as many 2,000 defense monsters as I could. I threw in swords. And so my strategy was stall the game until I contribute for my big boys and then win that way. Yeah. Well, as you can see, I drew a lot of 2,000 defense monsters as well. Yeah, you did. Um, but I think I actually had one or two more I could have put in, but I didn't want to just clog the deck with nothing mm. but... Although yeah, maybe so, I should put one or more. Yeah, the rest of my deck was pretty clogged with crap, as you saw. I, I threw in the jank of the fusions. Mm. I was like, okay, I have Carbonola Warrior, I have Flame Swordsman. And I have all the monsters I actually need to fuse those. And I pulled one polymerization. So I was like, my win condition's blue eyes, so what's the rest of the deck going to be? I just threw in the fusion I'm, stuff just I'm for pretty fun. certain I did not draw a polymerization. Mm. But honestly, the polymerization kind of fits with the strategy too. Because at this point in the game, how do you special summon monsters? You don't really. Polymerization counts as a special summon. And since you can fuse from your hand with the card, technically... If I had, like, both fusion materials and polymerization in my hand, I only need one monster on the field to bring out blue eyes. Right. So I contribute that monster and then polymer polymerize to get Carbonola or Flame Swordsman, and then tribute that as well for the blue eyes. That's so it true. helps, it helps true. speed out getting those monsters faster. Yeah. Uh, part of me wishes I had drawn a polymerization, but I, yeah. I just didn't get it. All right. Well, that was a very good match, despite being kind of slow at points. It was actually kind of tense there at the end. <laughs> yeah. Me being on the brink of death for so long. But, uh, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the, the first episode of the Progression series, Legend of Blue Eyes. Very fitting, as Blue Eyes kind of won both of us there. Blue Eyes was definitely the one who carried us. But, uh, up next we have Metal Raiders, which does very little for the format. It's a lot of the same stuff. 
vanilla beaters and a few good spells and traps mm -hmm. mixed in. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see what we get. You have earned yourself one pity point. Yay! So... I am pitiable. Pitiable. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. You're still in a good spot. You got some good cards in your deck. Honestly, I only won that last duel because of swords, as I mentioned before. So, like, again, you could have easily won that match and taken it to game three. And at that point, anyone could have won. So, just because I won this first match doesn't mean my deck's any better. So, oh, if I, anything, I understand. If anything, you're in a better spot than I am because you have that pity point now. <laughs> So you can use that to well, pull some we'll new see. packs or save it up. We'll see. But, uh, yeah. In the meantime, we will catch you guys later. Yeah, we'll see you later. All right. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed day.